What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a 2007 Lexus IS 250 all-wheel drive. And this particular customer is experiencing a hard shift with a DTC P2714 and a P0756. So let's lift the vehicle up and see what's going on with it. First thing we want to do is get underneath right here. We're going to remove this brace because we want to get inside the transmission pan and check out these solenoids. We're going to remove this brace right here because it's going to be covering some of the bolts in front of the oil uh, transmission pan. So we want to make sure we have access to that. Uh, I already got some of them off and the um, brace is already loosened. But I just wanted to show you guys that it's going to be necessary to remove it just to get those bolts out in front of the transmission pan. That's going to be your drain plug. This is going to be your adjustment level plug. I'll get to that in, uh, later on in the video. I'm going to take these little bolts out. Do the same thing for the other side. careful dropping the pan you want to take your time with it all right a little fluid is going to spill but we already drained it is the pan right here as you can see there's not too many metal shavings in there so in this particular case i'm not thinking the transmission is gone so i don't have to worry about oh you know all hopes is lost we might have you know a chance here to you know get this car back on the road but what we're going to focus on is these solenoids right here a few on off solenoid and a few linear solenoid, which means they can vary in pressure. The on off solenoids is this one right here. It's an S2 solenoid and the other one might be a S4. I don't have the diagram with me, but the manufacturer spec is supposed to be between 11 to 15 ohms of resistance. And you can see that one's in spec. And I'm gonna try to check the one next to it, the one with the green tab. It's Check out the reading on this one. That's the S2. That's the one that's throwing the trouble code. It's reading open because I'm not really making contact, but the real reading is about 64 ohms. Manufacturer spec is 11 to 15 ohms, but we're getting about 60 to 70 ohms of resistance. Right off the bat, it tells me that this solenoid is bad. Now, for the purpose of this video, I checked all of them, but we're only going to focus on these two. I'm going to plug that black one in and I'm going to leave that S2 exposed because we're going to be replacing that one right here. It's bolted on with a 10 millimeter bolt. And it shares that, that thread hole with another solenoid. Here it is right here. That's the bad one. That little thing right here is so expensive. But, you know, it, it, it's, it's value, you know, it, it can't be matched. It's doing a, an important job. All right, now let's just start a new one. And get that 10 millimeter bolt going. I like to tighten it by hand. With the impact, you don't really get a feel for how tight it is. So I like to tighten most of these things by hand. So I'm gonna take down the transmission filter. Four bolts holding it on. The two back ones are longer than the front, so be mindful. They're not the same size. And just kind of take it down slowly so you don't damage that seal. When they cleaned it up. Now, I don't invite, I, normally you should replace it, but this one, you know, I was able to clean it up and, you know, with, with transmission fluid, not with brake clean or anything, because it's very important that you don't get any debris inside of the solenoid anywhere near the valve body. So I'm getting ready to install the pan back up. Like I said, I clean everything with transmission fluid, no oil rags, so the little lint don't get on the valve body. You wanna make sure you do it real clean, man. Keep that area debris free. When you're working with any transmission components, you don't wanna get debris anywhere. Now you wanna start with the bolts by hand. Don't be like those guys who started with a uh, with their electric impact, you don't want to cross these bolt holes, man. If you cross one of these thread holes, you're going to be in trouble. 
Then I go around them with my electric impact. Then I go by hand again and get a feel. I like to get a feel for how tight things are. So I like to use my quarter ratchet to make sure everything's nice and tight. With the impact, you don't really get a sense and you don't want to snap the bolt. Some impacts are real powerful. That's why I like to really finish it off by hand. All right, spray with some brake clean now. We can bring out the brake clean, but don't spray the valve body with brake clean. Don't spray the solar noise with brake clean. Don't pass no oil rag. Keep that area clean. But the pan, you can pretty much wipe it down now. No brake clean won't get in there because you already tighten everything. I'll go by hand again, just to make sure everything's still nice and tight. Do a little last final check, just to make sure. You know, there's a lot of bolts, you just wanna make sure. You don't wanna have a fluid leaking anywhere. So I wanna make sure the drain plug is tight. We have our ATF World Standard Fluid here by Toyota. Now it helps if you have this transfer pump here so you can pour the fluid. You'll see why it's important later. It's gonna be difficult to fill these transmission without it. You're gonna take that 24 millimeter bolt or plug on the side now I'm using the adjustable because if I continue using my half inch ratchet, it's gonna get stuck between that drive shaft. And I'm just gonna pump the transmission fluid in there. Any pump at Home Depot could probably do the same thing that you probably could use for a garden. But you know, in the dealer, we have a special tool, a special pump to pump the fluid inside. So I'm gonna install my, my fill plug back, tighten it up. I like to get a feel for it, not too tight. You know, you just want to get a feel for it. But sometimes the bolt will let you know. Remember, that's the drain plug, and this is going to be the adjustment plug on this side right here. So I'm going to get get in the car, start it up. And I'm just going to shift into neutral slowly. So neutral right here, drive. Neutral, reverse, you know, I'm back into part. You can see it on the cluster. Just to get all the valves opening and get every fluid everywhere. Now I'm gonna go to my adjustment plug. And that, that that's how you adjust the fluid on these, you know, sealed transmission. Now the car is running while I'm doing this. While I'm adjusting the fluid, you wanna have the car running, not off. And you want to wait till you see a nice little trickle. You know, you don't want to see it pouring out. You just want to see a, you know, a steady stream coming out. A very small stream. Don't let the transmission get too hot, but don't do it immediately while it's cold too. Just a nice little warm temp. There's a sp specific number, but for the sole purpose of this video, just a little warm and, you know, after you cycle through all the gears. Tighten it by hand. Don't forget to install your brace. You know, that was covering the, the transmission pan bolts. That goes along. Here it is installed. Now we're going for a road test, and everything is working fine, guys. It was just that little solar noise, so hopefully we can save your transmission. Before you're thinking the IS is junk, try doing these simple tips. If you find this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.